How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today in this episode we're going to be playing with the wee Honda engine and uh, sticking on the new deck head ported with a new gasket and uh, I was going to stick on some uh, ARP uh, SRT4 uprated bolts however Real Street Performance sent me the wrong package. So the guys done an awesome job, like they, they sent it over so fast, it only took two days but it's like time and tensioner brackets and uh, you know, cogs and gears and timing stuff for uh, a 2GZ. I ain't got a 2GZ. I mean, I would like to have a 2GZ. They're, they're pretty fucking cool engines, to be honest. Here is the head. It's all uh, freshly decked, nice and clean, ready to go. And I've just given it a little port just to see if it makes any difference at all to, uh, you know, to spool times and stuff like that. I've poured the inlet and the exhaust side. Um, obviously I've got logs before and after. Um, I've fitted here some RX8 550 injectors instead of the K21s, just for a little bit of better atomization. These uh, ones atomize so much better than the K21s, the decapped K21s. So um, yeah, so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be time certain my block up to 11.15 mil and uh, I'm going to be using some K20 or K24 head studs, just the standard ones uh, in this to bolt down this head. Then when the ARP proper bolts come, I'm going to then put them in. And you might ask yourself, why am I just doing it? Why don't I just do it in a winner? However, I need the car for work and it's smoking its head off. I want to get this head on to hopefully stop that and um, yeah, move on. Whip this head off and uh, stick on the new one. So straight into it, uh, took off the rocker cover. I've just undone the bolts here because the turbo manifold will come off far enough. And uh, we've got all these bolts in here, they're the genuine ARP ones. Still got the molly lube on there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, number four is still flooded, full of oil. So uh, what I'm gonna do here, undo the tensioner, whip off the belt, and uh, see if I can pull the head off with the inlet manifold in a one -er. this to see if we can see where it's been passing. So looking at the gasket and seeing sort of areas here and uh, here which is looking like it's been passing um, but in all once it's in the outer two I'm gonna have to get, try and give the block a bit of a clean uh, and even just to see if I can partially deck it but uh, when I was decking the head or um, flattening the head I did actually find that the cylinders on one and four you know the head was going up at the edges so maybe they just didn't have enough clamper force on them so um yeah cheap head gasket anyway right so uh, we've got the time cert bolt on here so these are obviously plated down and this is tapered uh, with a bush in it and basically the bush fits in here and this has got a taper on it so the taper basically finds the center of the hole and once you've got that center hole absolutely bang on, nip these down and then you can remove this piece here and then you know you're going to be drilling and tapping right down the center. So I've, um, I've measured up my time cert kit, I've gone wild with it, just double checking, triple checking it so many times. You need a fucking degree to use this fucking thing, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've got it where it needs to go now. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill this down into the block and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bits of my block. Oh, 
Oh, that felt good. So I to get candid ones anyway. <laughs> Right, we've uh, got them all tapped in now, so they're down, we're at 11.15mm uh, now, so, or 11mm by 1.5, all in, inserts are all in now, and we can now start prepping the K20 studs, but when I was looking at it, I just sort of got a bit of a glimpse that, you know, with the rule, the, the, the actual block seemed to be quite off, so what I'm doing here is just got a bit of engineer's blue and I've got some glass. I'm just using glass because it's like super flat and I just want to see if I can see if I can press up against it. Because it kind of looks like the, the bores are warped, which is never a good thing. Also, if you can hear that, it's rocking. So our cylinders are higher here or lower elsewhere. So that's definitely not a good thing. So it looks like the block's fucked, but in true fashion, like I say, I'm just gonna have to try and send it anyway. See if it makes a difference. If it holds, it holds, and if it doesn't, it's just gonna have to live it a bar of boost. And uh, if it keeps pulling cool pressure, probably have to get another block or another engine, which sucks dick, but to be fair, the guy that sent me the engine, he didn't know if it's if the engine was fucked or no. It wasn't a stock car, which kind of tells you it's probably never been warmed up and it's probably lived its life at 9,000 RPM or something, so... Um, but we'll, we'll fit the head gasket, we'll fit the big head studs, and we'll just, we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. We'll, we'll have to test these things. You know, it's, it's deformed just now, but by the time you've tucked the head down onto it, um, it could pull itself straight. Unlikely, but we'll, we, can, we can test it, and that's, that's what we'll do here, because I'm not ripping that fucking engine out before I do all this, go to all this work. We're not stopping now. So here we have it, the brand new head gasket. Get this baby fired on there. Um, and I've cleaned the head as well, and the deck, so... Give this thing a best chance it's got a ceiling and uh, out devils and everything still fit so that's all okay. So that'll sit down there nicely. Uh, I'm just gonna go over the head now and drill out the holes. Um, high precision machine here. So these holes are just very, very, very slightly too small. So I'm just going in with this just to clean it somewhere, clean some next to nothing really. all it is and that's that means a K20 bolt will go through. This is like 11 mil but if you measure it, it's like 10.95 or something like that. So near to it but the K20 bolts are really nice and tight in there so uh, happy with that. I just need to do that with every one of these. Probably swap over the inlet manifold in that first, um, and then stick the whole lot on as a winner. And uh, yeah, put the head on the car. <laughs> Trade secrets and all that. Doesn't they do a very good job at it? The guy that sold me this thing said they were fucking shit hot as well, but they're fish! I need to beat a wire brush, man. Where's that cut? It's like this is the real world now, son! 
We will not soon. You know when you stick an engine together that you know it's fucked. <laughs> Where is the Honda Bond? Honda Bond, I'm playing our show. Honda Bond. There's no Honda Bond, it's going on with the Honda Bond. But there is Honda Bond somewhere. Go. Got a noisy compressor. <sighs> we must peak. Yep. Oh, fuck hell. Studs are sailing out to fucking fingers. <sighs> All four corners. Nothing's nipped. <sighs> Suppose we'll see if one of these fit then. Because uh, I don't know anyone that's using these. Oh, now, getting the socket down there onto them is going to be an issue, I think, because it's quite, quite a fucking, quite a small gap between the springs. Let's see if this fits in here, on this. Oh, it's meant to be. Meant to be. These are like K20 head bolts. I'm going to torque them to a K20 sequence, which is like 40 newton meters, 40 newton meters, then 90, then another 90. So fuck knows what that is actually is in torque, but we'll we'll use that because obviously it's the bolts we're torquing. The bolts don't know if they're in a K20 or if they're in a D16. Boy! 1990. So, number one. I'm sure, you get a gauge for these actually. I think so. So, I'm going to come to here. So, 90. Here. So, go from this one here. So one. Oh, two. Last one. Ten. Well, that took a lot. So, I think that's good enough. I start putting exhaust and that back on again, put it all back up pipes and stuff like that and see how it goes. Just this last couple exhaust studs will get a wee blast. See how she goes. Take it for a wee run in the car. No kick its head in because I've got different injectors in the day so that'll be a different video. And we'll go over some data logs and we'll see if it's uh, made any difference or not. Oil in it. Now you want to check that. Oh fuck, I missed the hole. Oh you bastard. Yes. The vital fucking point when you're doing a DCDs, check the oil. Always need to check the oil on the DCDs. Let's try start off. 
kilo. I'll take it for a blast. So uh, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for coming along and watching the video, following this build as it goes. Um, I'm going to set it on fire if it doesn't fix it. And uh, yeah, next month we're going to be starting doing stuff with that X7. So if it does pass the head or start leaking because that block's deformed, I'll probably just leave it at a bar of boost and uh, just have fun with it. Um, with um, yeah, low boost. So, uh, yeah, like I say, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, as per usual, we'll catch you in the next bit. Cheers.